Scarlowy storms through. In the summer, the high hills of Sodor are Scarlowy's favorite place. There are flowers and forests and fields full of sheep and farmers who wave as Scarlowy chuffs by. But in the winter, it's very different in the hills. There is rain and wind and sometimes there are bad storms. One rainy day, Scarlowy was delivering cars of slate. He saw a farmer up ahead by the tracks. There's an emergency, he shouted. A big storm is coming. We have to get the sheep down from the hills. We need the engines to help. Scarlowy wanted to help, so he puffed quickly away to the deep. He had to tell the other engines that there was an emergency. When Scarlowy arrived at the depot, his friends Renaeus and Peter Sam were there. So was Mr. Percival. Scarlowy told him about the storm. First, said Mr. Percival, you must collect the freight cars and take them to the top of the hill. Then, pick up the sheep and bring them safely down the hill to the farmers. Yes, sir, said Renaeus and Peter Sam. They couldn't wait to get started. As Scarlowy was being uncoupled from the slate cars, there was a flash of lightning and a roar of thunder. Scarlowy was scared of the thunder and lightning, but he didn't want to tell his friends. He didn't want to look silly. Reneas and Peter Sam blew their whistles bravely as they puffed off to collect their freight cars. Scarlowy tooted his whistle as hard as he could, but it didn't sound very brave at all. The three little engines arrived at the bottom of the hill with their freight cars. Then there was an even louder roar of thunder. Scarlowy's wheels wobbled. He was very frightened. Here I go, puffed Reneas, and he bravely chuffed up the hill. I'll cover too, tooted Peter Sam, and he puffed off bravely after his friend. Scarlowy watched his friends disappear into the storm. He didn't feel as brave as the other engines. I'm too scared to go up the hill with them, Scarlowy puffed quietly, and with a sad puff of steam, Scarlowy reversed down a siding and hid. Scarlowy waited. He hoped no one would see he wasn't helping. At last, Reneas and Peter Sam came down the hill. Their wagons were full of sheep. Scarlowy watched the farmers unload the sheep. Then, Peter Sam and Reneas puffed back up the hill into the storm. They were being very brave. Scarlowy felt bad. He wanted to help. But he was too scared. Peter, Sam, and Reneas worked very hard. They puffed up and down the hill, bringing sheep safely to the farmers. Then there was trouble. Peter, Sam, and there was trouble. Peter, Sam, and Reneas had puffed up and down so many times, they both ran out of coal. Oh, no, wished Reneas sadly. There are still more sheep up on the hill. What are we going to do, chuffed Peter Sam. Scarlowy looked at his two friends. They were very tired and very sad. Then he looked at the farmers. They were worried about the sheep. If a big engine like me is frightened of thunder, the little sheep must be very scared, Scarlowy chuffed to himself. I wanted to help the sheep. I wanted to help the farmers. And I wanted to help my friends. But I haven't helped any of them. I've let them all down. He felt terrible. Scarlowy puffed slowly out of his hiding place. 
Reneus and Peter Sam were pleased to see him. Did you collect lots of sheep? Peter Sam asked. We didn't see you, puffed Reneus. Scarloe sadly told them what had happened. I was too scared of the thunder and lightning to go up the hill with you, he wished. So I hid, and I watched you working. Because of me, there were still sheep on the hill. So now, I'm going up to collect them, he chuffed. There was another flash of lightning and a roar of thunder. But Scarloe didn't notice. He pumped his pistons and puffed off bravely up the hill. The lightning flashed around Scarloe. But Scarloe wasn't scared. All he thought about was collecting the sheep and bringing them safely down the hill. Scarloe arrived at the top of the hill. The farmer was waiting. He was very pleased to see Scarloe. The sheep were quickly loaded into the cars, and Scarloe set off down the hill. It was very hard work, but Scarloe didn't give up. He chuffed up and down the hill until he had collected all the sheep. Scarloe felt very happy. I'm braver than I thought, he wished, and he puffed proudly down the hill for the last time. Reneus and Peter Sam were waiting for Scarloe at the bottom of the hill. Well done, they tooted. They were very happy to see him and proud of their friend. Three cheers for Scarloe, the farmers cheered. Scarloe smiled. I didn't think I could do it, but I could. The lightning still flashed and the thunder still roared. But Scarloe was the happiest engine on Sodor.